Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 36th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about comparison operators in Perl and uh, we have been using comparison operators uh, with if statement and even with loops for preparing our test conditions but we haven't formally met them yet and uh, we're going to do that in this video. So comparison operators are also known as relational operators. So if someone's talking to you about relational operators and just know that, you know, the person is talking about operations like uh, whether the values are equal or if one value is less than the other. And uh, there are a bunch of other operations uh, that you can perform using comparison operators. So uh, I have a very simple script here. It's uh, got some code, but it's really simple. So we're going to demonstrate uh, the operators using if statements and uh, we're going to check uh, for uh, you know different tests and on the basis of the output that we get we're going to display uh, you know some statements on the output window so I have uh, a script that's called comparison underscore operators underscore numbers there's going to be a separate tutorial on strings in which we'll see how we can use comparison operators to compare text values but uh, for the time being we're going to work with two scalar variables uh, x and y which have values 20 and 15 respectively so the first comparison operator that we're going to check out is the double equal to comparison operator and this is used to check if the two values uh, in the variables that you're comparing are same or not so you know you have an if statement on line number six which is going to check whether the value in x is equal to the value in y or not if it is then it's going to display the values of x and y and it's also going to show the message x and y are equal and obviously we're not going to see x and y we're going to see the values that are stored in x uh, and y because we have the variable names enclosed within uh, double quotes so the values will be interpolated and then on line number 10 if uh, you want to check whether the values are different or not instead of using two equal to symbols you would use uh, the exclamation symbol with one equal to symbol right so this makes it not equal to and uh, this print statement would uh, work if the numbers uh, if the variables had uh, different numbers and uh, uh, you know in current case since x has 20 and y has 15 we should actually see 20 and 15 are not equal and then on line number 14 I have another if statement that's going to check if the value in x is less than the value in y on line number 18 I have uh, an if statement that's going to check whether the value in x is greater than the value in y and then on line number 22 I have the less than equal to comparison operator which is going to check whether the value in x is either less than or equal to the value in y and then uh, finally on line number 26 I have an if statement that's going to check if the value in x is greater than or equal to the value in y so I'll make sure the script is saved and with the initial values 20 and 15 I'll run it to see the output so we see 20 and 15 are not equal and 20 is greater than 15 and 20 is also greater than or equal to 15 right so that's the output that you get from uh, this if statement the one on line number 10 and then uh, the if statement on line number 18 and also the if statement on line number 26 now let me make this uh, you know f uh, let me change this from 15 I'll change it to 25 and I'll execute the script again and we see 20 and 25 are not equal 20 is less than 25 and 20 is less than or equal to 25 so this time we are seeing output from uh, the if statement on line number 10 this this one's still working and then we are seeing uh, the output from the if statement on line number 14 as well as the if statement on line number 22 and uh, uh, finally let's make the values equal so I'll change this to 25 so uh, the if statement on line number 6 the one on line 22 and the one on line 26 all result into true so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next video till then take care